Hiya, Dave here. So if you're new to jailbreaking, one of the first things you're going to want to do is go get Activator in Cydia. It's a free tweak by Ryan Petrich and is one of those that's probably on just about every jailbroken iOS device. It's just one of those ones you pretty much have to have. Um, what it lets you do is set up custom gestures and shortcuts to all sorts of different actions on your iPhone. So if you want alternative ways of getting to control center or of toggling Wi-Fi or of opening certain apps, all sorts of different things you can do with Activator with custom gestures and shortcuts. So I'll go into settings, settings. here. So when you download it, it'll put a panel in your settings app. Settings. Settings. Activator. Button. Activator. Settings. Back button. And first of all, you can choose whether you want the actions to take place everywhere on the phone or just when you're on your home screen or just in an app or just on the lock screen. Anywhere. At home screen. In application. At lock screen. When is locked and lock screen is anywhere. So we'll go into anywhere. Locked. Anywhere. Activator. Back button. And I'll just show you an example of some of the shortcuts that you can use. Anywhere. Heading. Locked. Device locked via sleep button or touch fingerprint sensor. Heading. So you can use the fingerprint sensor to carry out certain actions. Home button. Heading. You can use various clicks of the home button to use uh, certain actions as well. So obviously by standard on iOS, a double tap opens the app switcher and a press and hold um, will enact Siri, but you can actually change those if you wanted to. Lock screen, heading, motion, heading. You've got motion, which will allow you device. to shake, and bake. shake the device to carry out a certain shortcut. Multi-touch gesture, heading. There's loads of multi-touch gestures such as pinches on the screen and uh, spreading your fingers as well and also uh, slide in gestures as well network status heading power heading sleep button heading you can have the sleep button do things as well slide along screen bottom he slide along screen slide along screen slide in gesture heading now one of the things with all these slide gestures and the multi-touch gestures is that if you're running voiceover like i am you're not going to be able to use a lot of these uh, because the voiceover gestures obviously conflict with um with the activator gesture so a lot of those are ruled out if you are a voiceover user but there are still loads of things we can use with voiceover slide out gesture springboard heading status bar heading and one of the ones i use a lot is the status bar options so here we've got double tap double tap on status bar a double tap on the status bar to carry out a shortcut or a, uh, a settings toggle or whatever you wanted to do Double tap left, double tap on the left part of the status, double tap right, double tap on the right part of the status, hold, tap and hold on the status bar. So you've got tap and hold and we've got double taps. If you're running voiceover, a double tap will actually translate to a triple tap um, with voiceover and a tap and hold is going to be a double tap and hold. But these gestures do actually really work, so um, they are. it is really useful. So I'll just show you some of the ones I've set up. So I chose for a double tap on the status bar. Um, to be a uh, bring up the uh, control center, excuse me. So I'll do that now. Twenty three fourteen status bar item. So if I now triple tap, and there's control center pops up. Airplane mode off Wi Fi on Bluetooth on. And close that. Settings anywhere. And Activator. I Back chose button. double tap left to bring up the Facebook share sheet, which of course used to be a widget in the notification center in iOS six and was removed. I wanted that back, so I'm using Activator to do that. So if I put voiceover focus on the left-hand side of the status bar, say two or three Wi-Fi bars on the Wi-Fi, five, five, five. status bar item. And because I chose double tap left to be the Facebook, I will now triple tap because I'm using voiceover. Two, message text field is a twenty-three fifty Facebook. And there's the Facebook. Uh, share widget. Post, button, message, text field, post, Facebook, cancel, button. And similarly, I Settings. chose double tap anyway, right, activator. which with voiceover again is a triple tap. 28%. Bluetooth on. Status bar item. To be the Twitter share. And Tweet. there it is again. Text field is editing. Post, Twitter, cancel, button. Um, we also anyway, have activator. the use. Back button. We also have the use of the uh, hardware buttons, so you can change what the home button does, uh, you can change what the volume buttons do. So I still have the volume up and down as normal, but if I tap and hold or press and hold the volume up button, it'll now bring up the app switcher for me. App switcher, home. Home. And if I Settings. press and hold the volume down button, 
brings up Siri. And I'm also using the Touch ID as a um, simulation of the home button. So I actually don't even have to fully press the home button to exit out of an app. I just need to place my finger over the Touch ID sensor and that will close an app. So that's just an example of some of the things we still can do with VoiceOver using Activator. And there's all sorts of add-ons you can get for it in City as well. So uh, Activator, if you haven't got it already, it's definitely one of those tweaks you're going to want to get. Um, the developer's always working on it and uh, putting out updates and that kind of thing. Really useful. And he's also added, if you have an iPhone 5S, that Touch ID uh, sensor option as well. And I'm sure there's more to come on that. So uh, thanks for watching. Any questions, let me know. Cheers.